Hello learners, in this program we will discuss about micro and mega fossils found in the Himalaya. We have algal mat that means as you know algae is green color plant very low in ranking when they combine together and they are converted into fossil such mat like structure is formed. You can see the size of these algae. This is of something interest. These are some of the micro fossils from the tall formation. In one way or the other these micro fossils shown in the picture has created lot of problems for the geologists. The entire age of tall formations and crawl formations have been reclassified on the basis of these micro fossils. They are basically conodonts, but now almost the age is settled as they are the Cambrian fossils. This is another view of those micro fossils which have been shown. By the way, the Gongoliot formation contains magnesite also. Basically, they are limestones with micro fossils. The age is settled as they are the Cambrian fossils. We all know at the end of Permian period, the trilobites became extinct. So, here there are some trilobite fossils which are being shown. Now, the age ranges from Cambrian to Permian. At the end of Permian, they became extinct. The fossils from Paradoxide, Calamine, Philipsia, Olinus, Olinus can be identified. Sedimentary rocks normally contain huge amount of fossils in comparison to any other rock. Now, we are showing you some of the slides from the Lilang system in the Spiti Valley. They belong to Triassic in age. We are showing you from cephalopods as well as one fossil from Lamellibranchia of phylum Mollusca. The Lamellibranchia fossil happens to be Donella, which is marked as D. The rest are all belong to Amenardia group of cephalopods. This slide consists of ammonoids and one fossil from Echinoidea that is Hemiaster and one fossil from Lamellibranchia that is Trigon Arca. I would like to talk something on Amenoidea. As you know, the cephalopods are divided into three subsections such as Nautiloidea, Ammonoidea and Belemnites. All of them excluding Ammonoidea extend from Cambrian to present day. Ammonoidea though started with Cambrian period ended or they became extinct at the end of Cretaceous coinciding with the death of dinosaurs or the extinction of dinosaurs. We talk about Himalaya, naturally we talk about the Shivalik and if we talk about Shivalik, we talk about mammals and when we talk about mammals, we have to talk about elephants, hippopotamus, tortoise and a horse and those pictures are in front of you. On one side you have got elephant, if you see the tusk it is so large in comparison to present day elephants. And also if you see the shape of the horse, it is resembling the present day horse, but not yet evolved into present day horse. After these elephants, horses, giraffe, camels, next is the evolution of human. Now we have reached the Pleistocene age. In Pleistocene, 
we start with the human evolution. As you know, generally people say that man has evolved from monkeys. They are very correct in saying that monkeys, apes, orangutan, then Ramapithecus, Shivapithecus, and you are seeing a model of Shivapithecus. The difference between present day man and the earlier ancestors is the size, the body size. They used to be very huge in comparison to present day man. If you see here, the forehead is not as straight as we are, and the eyes, if you see the jaw bones, they are stucking out. The face, where lip portion is there, you see the both upper jaw and the lower jaw, they are projecting forward. Dear learners, you have learnt about the micro and mega fossils of Himalaya and I hope you found them interesting. Thank you.